In this video, I'm gonna upgrade the stock tires on my Trek Marlin from 2.2 inches wide to these wider tires that are 2.4 inches wide. A link to these tires is above and also in the description. Now these are Continental Trail Kings. They ran me about $70 delivered. There are other options such as Maxxis and Schwabies, but all those tires are going to run you over $100. But before we get started on the install, I hope that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching. All right, I got the bike flipped over, so I'm going to start with the back wheel. I'm going to use the quick release here, loosen that up, and then hold the other side to loosen it from the frame. And then what I'm going to do is pull the gear shifter back and then the wheel comes out. Now take note that the wheel turns a certain direction and you want to mount the tire in that direction. So there is a marking on the tire just in case you get confused. But I'm going to go ahead and get this deflated and mount the new tire. All right, I got the tire deflated. You can see here, I've released the bead and now I'm gonna take the tube stem and I'm gonna push it through the wheel here and then remove the tire and tube from this wheel. The tube comes off nice and easy. There we have it. Here is the wheel. I'm going to set this here against the bike. And I'm going to pull the tube out. I'm going to attempt to try to reuse this tube with the new wider tires. Just in case I did order some new tubes as provisionals. But I'm going to go ahead and try to use this as it's only about six months old. It does say right here that they're Bontrager uh, 2 to 2.4. So these should work with the uh, new wider tires. All right, I got the new tire, the old tube, the original rim. The tire is going to rotate this way. I can come over here and you can see that there's the rotational direction. There's a little arrow here. So what I'm going to do is set this down and tuck the tube into the new tire like that and then or put the wheel on get the valve stem in first that's the key like that get that seated And then just work the tire around. I got the tire. It's not inflated. It's seated on the wheel. Now, one of the things you could do, I do this sometimes. I put some soapy water in a spray bottle and I spray the bead so that when I inflate it, it centers itself on the, or on the rim, both sides. Now you can use a bike pump. I happen to have a tire inflator, and then I can really hit this. I'm gonna inflate it to about 25 PSI. You can see that. I didn't inflate it too much. I'm going to make sure that it's centered. Maybe 10 PSI in there. Get that centered on there. Okay. And now I'm going to inflate it up to the full 20 P 25 PSI. There we have it. The tire is mounted. Looks like it's pretty centered. And now it's time for the install. So it's the same as before. You want to make sure that the brake caliper is lined up here. And this is the trick. You're going to have to 
You're going to have to open this transmission. Could use a third hand, but it is doable. There we go. Get that situated and now get the brake caliper lined up. Got that lined up. Now I'm just going to simply tighten up the axle bolt. All right, there we have it. So 2.4s do fit on this bike. The little nubbies are hitting the frame just a little bit, but those will wear down. It clears it just fine. You might even be able to squeeze some 2.5s in there. It's pretty close. Before I mount the front tire, I'll give you what it looks like. That's the front tire, the width. It's hard to see with the naked eye, but these new tires definitely are wider, a little more knobbier compared to the stock ones. Hopefully they'll wear a little better compared to the stock ones, but it definitely looks a little beefier. Let's move on to the front tire. Now the front tire is super easy. Just simply lift the quick release, thread this out, pull the front tire out, pretty easy. Lay this on the ground, get the tire deflated, and mount the new one. Last but not least, reinstall the tire, line it up with the brake rotor, tighten down the quick release, got that secured, all right, everything's good, take this thing for a ride. Oh yeah. These definitely look a lot better. They're probably going to be a lot better on the trails. I'm happy with that. All right. Happy trails. I hope that you liked this video. Subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.